check you already know um mr j hill i'm in the building episode zero zero god damn i just started this this is what seven zero zero seven a conversation with me tay bands is in the building what's popping what's up uh 17 year old artist out of baltimore right yeah um uh you started this this year you said right yeah well i've been i've been rapping since i was younger but i'm recently just took it really serious mm, what 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 um you said you was inspired by something or somebody to yeah. start taking it serious in this last year yeah what was that um, my grandmother passed in 2017. Wow. That that made me go harder. Mm. So I want to get into that a little bit. Like, what about her passing? Of course, that hurt, right? Right. Um, what about her passing made you want to go harder? Um, me and her, we was really close. You know, we would always talk about my music, her coming to my shows when I get older. You know, and one day I had made a promise that I ain't going to ever stop rapping. I'm going to do it just for her. Mm. So when, it, when, she, when she passed, that really touched my heart. Let me ask you this, and I want to... Um, if I'm if I get touched too deep, let me know. You can you can check me at any time. Um, do you, do sometimes you wish you took it a little bit more serious when she was here? Yeah, yeah. So she could see the, the progress. Right. Because I made a lot. So it's like it's definitely like takeaways from that because it's like it's more than just music sometimes, right? right. Like you, we tell people that our loved ones things, or we don't tell them things, right. and then next thing you know, it's like they pass and like shit. I wish, right? right? So it's kind of like that feeling. Yeah. So um, nah, definitely rest in peace to uh, yeah. grandma. Yeah, my grandma. Your grandma's. Um, so, how has it been since she passed and you jumping into music? Was it like anything that you wasn't prepared for? Because you, like you said, you just started because she passed. It was like motivation, inspiration. Right, yeah. So, it made me go harder. It made me definitely go harder and, and do more things. Mm, like what? Well, um, I've been rapping about different stuff that people can relate to. So, I've been making songs about her. You know, people can relate to stuff like that. So, so you said you was doing music. Right. Just not as serious, right? Yeah. What? what, what What's the difference in styles that you was doing? Like, what, what type of music you was making then when it wasn't as serious compared to now? Just regular, like, hard freestyles. Now I get more personal, more deep that other people can relate to. Damn, how does that feel to you, though? Like, as a person, not even an artist. Yeah, it, it makes me feel like a better person. Of course, I get sad sometimes writing the lyrics, mm. which, you know, it's like... That, let's talk about, like, just being vulnerable, right? Because a lot of times, you know, for you as an art, for me as an art, you know what I'm saying? And um, just for a lot of other people, it's an art. But a lot of times we human. And sometimes being in your artistry, you lose, like you, you kind of lose sight of being human. And then right. when it's out, this 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 artwork is out, and this creation that you made is out. You don't see how much it's impacted the people around you and the people how they look at you. They look at you differently, and they start to kind of like think they know when they really don't know. Have right. you seen some of that in, in your peers and your people around you? Um, not not really. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about um the music you're making is vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? You're letting people know you're serious now. How long has it been? You said this year. Was it like January? Like Yeah, well, I, I just put out my first um album, Tough Love. Mm. So after that, yeah, like it's like this is what I want to do. Okay, when did you put it out? I put it out in April. April. All right, so we was like in the... This was like... Like the be, like beginning when, of... When school closed, when everything right, started like, shutting down. the beginning of COVID. So, so everybody right? was on social media. So it was like, all right, well, since everybody on social media, let me put it out. So you did that intentionally? Yeah. Mm, how... how, how, how what did you see from that when you did that like you because you did it in april right? right i think covid started like march march like right march 18th or something like that right yeah you dropped in april did you see a direct impact of yeah i seen the views go up on my on my instagram and stuff mm. yeah like how, how how has it been since you dropped yeah yeah uh, your project um it, it been pretty good but right now i'm gonna focus on my my fan base on instagram and the following so how like how are you focusing on them what are you um, going to one thing I'm on trying it. to be consistent on is like freestyle videos. Mm. So I'm trying to drop more content so I can, so I can create my fan base on that. But why, why, in particular, freestyle videos? What makes you say I'm gonna do freestyle videos? Um, I think that will grab everyone's attention more, mm. and not just hard stuff. I want to do soul stuff like love songs. People got interested in that now. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So now it's definitely dope, and um. One of the questions I was asking, like, yo, you say you, I'm a 17 year, artist, 17 year old rapper from Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. and I asked you, like, why, why did you put an emphasis on 17 and, and what does that mean to you? I mean, because if I said it to an older person, they look at my work, they like, dang, you're going to be doing this at 17. You right. got a lot ahead of yourself. Mm. Right. So that's why I always say that. I always put 17 on that. Right. Because I can mean? be 17 just sitting in my room playing video games. Facts. But I, I'm doing something to change my life in the future and, and change my family lifestyle. Right. 
So even before your grandmother passed, mm-hmm. that was a big inspiration of you starting and getting really serious, right? Yeah. Even before that, like you said, you was making I music. I was making music, You yeah. told your grandmother, I'm going to be, I'm going to make music. You told her that. And that's mm-hmm. why you started taking it serious. What made you choose the music lane and not something else? Um, I was always um, into music, like looking at YouTube videos. And I used to perform at like my family events, Thanksgiving, dinner, family reunions. And then I had, um, when I was in elementary school, I used to always do showcases. Mm. And like we had um, like these tests and like MSA tests, standardized tests and like stuff like that. And my music teacher was like, Tay, we doing a showcase. I want you to make a song about this so people can be motivated about testing. Mm. And this was like elementary. Elementary school, yeah. So I was like second grade. So once I was doing that and he was on me, I'm like, yeah, this is what I want to do. It's crazy because um, one of uh, my friends, uh, Stokey, I'm pretty sure you know who Stokey is. Yeah. He always, we kind of both say the same thing. And it's like art or music is kind of taking the new wave of what young people want to do, right? Like at yeah. first when I was coming up, it was football, it was basketball, it was sports. Now you see more people want to be a rapper than want to play, be an athlete. Mm-hmm. And, it's, um, and it's crazy seeing that. And, and see, hearing yeah. you say in elementary school, yeah, your teacher's like, yo, make a song about trying to help people take tests or wanting to right. want people to take tests and it's like damn in elementary school i'm trying to get out of school talking <laughs> with a football practice it's crazy to see the uh the culture change right yeah um and because you are 17 now and i gave you so much shit at, at first like why are you saying 17 <laughs> <laughs> but now because you are 17 i'm curious to know what where do you see the music the music industry in baltimore like how how do you look at it as a 17 year old um I think we have a lot of talent in Baltimore that is getting overlooked because it's Baltimore. Mm. So first, pe- first, pe- first thing that people say when they say Baltimore, they think about drug violence killing. <laughs> but we got so much deeper than that it's for cra- music. <laughs> it's crazy that you say that because you're talking about time change, right? Like when I when I think of Baltimore, when I think of like outsiders, one of the first things I think that people think is you to do dummy. Like <laughs> the fact that you say like drugs, of course, but. I just feel like as you as you grow and you see more things, mm-hmm. it shapes your mind of how like who is looking for what, right? Right. Um, but no, nah, continue be saying um, how people see Baltimore artists. Yeah, but um, we have a lot of a lot a lot of talent, mm. but we just don't have no outlet. Right. But I feel like the showcase that you've been doing, you've been doing this for like a couple of years now. It's been helping a lot of you. Damn, thank you. Sheesh. Hey, you. <laughs> you think it's been helping the youth for real? Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah, I mean, it's giving us an outlet to express our feelings and right. our music. Mm, that's a fact. Uh, damn. Um, you just all right. So, <laughs> who who are some of your favorite artists coming out of the city? Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jiggy. Mhm. Roddy Rex. Roddy Rex. Schooler. Okay. And Tony Next to Blow. You know. Um, we do need more outlets, right? And I use that as an example because. Anybody, I, me personally, I feel like everybody's going to say, say those names. They, 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 those are great artists, right. right? But I feel like because we we lack the the the, um, the outlets, people don't see the the, the smaller artists right. per se or the 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 other artists that are talented as well because they don't have the numbers because we don't we lack those outlets we lack right. those resources and that's really what I want to do right like is it's not really to help anybody it's just like yo like. I like what I like, and I think I'm lit, and I feel like you would like what I like, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let me help, <laughs> because, like, y'all clearly missing a lot of other artists. Yeah, like, it is a lot and, of other um, artists that I didn't name. No, nah, right, of course. and But that's what my goal is. It's like, man, I want people to know Tay Barons, right? right? Like Mike even. Like, I want people to know um, Icon, a guy, like, these artists that you might not be familiar with, because mm-hmm. it's like, these people are talented, just like you are. Like, you're mad talented. Yeah, and, like, the, in, that, the interview you did with um, the boy True. Mm-hmm. I ain't know him, exactly, right, but when right. I looked at, I was like, "Yeah, he's yeah, nice." And that's my goal. So you just dropped the project. Mm-hmm. Um, we still pushing that project from May. Yeah, I'm April. Yeah, April. I'm pushing it. Okay, yeah. what's the name of it again? Tough Love. Tough Love. Um, how many tracks we got on there? Eleven. Eleven. Uh, was it a, a reason behind eleven, or just you just put eleven? I mean, stuff? it was just I wouldn't do eleven okay. times. I mean, a lot of people nowadays, a lot of people <laughs> have a lot of meaning to everything. Is so you got to ask these questions? No, it was just <laughs> like, eleven like, times. People got meaning. So um. What, do you have a single off of this project that you're pushing? Is there anything in particular that you want people um, to know about this project? I got on my project, I got two videos. Mm-hmm. One already out. It's called In The Thoughts. Okay. Now I got the intro music video about to come out. Okay. All right. So we got the intro, In The Thoughts. Tough yeah. Love is out right now. Yeah, and I, um, got, um, I got a single called Run It Up. Mm. I'm trying to push, and I'm going to drop the music video soon. Okay. Tay Bands. Um... Tough love is out right now. Uh, anything? Did we miss anything? 
No, I think we covered most of the. Because you want people to know that you're working, and I yeah. feel like they see you working, and I, I fuck with it. I, I got mad respect for it. Thank you. Um, that's all I got. Episode zero zero. What we got, Lante? Seven. Uh, Lante, bass guy. I want y'all to know who behind all this because when I get lit, these people don't get the, the credit they deserve. So shout out to my, my camera guy, Lante, bass guy. Tay Bands is in the building. J Hill zero zero seven. A conversation with Tay Bands, not me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, let's get to this freestyle. All right. Let's get Bet. It.